All right, welcome back, Coastal One folks. Professor Almeida here. Happy Thursday, everyone. And because it's Thursday, that means I'm in the Canvas live chat until noon Pacific time today. If you need to see me in person, Friday, tomorrow, 9 to 11 a.m. in M229. And speaking of student office hours, May 30th and the 31st, that Thursday and Friday, those will be my last student office hours, your last chance to see me uh, individually if you have questions on things in the course. And if you could believe it, we are almost at the end. Congratulations on making it this far, and hopefully you see the light at the end of the tunnel. So on that note, let's talk about weeks 7 and 8, which will open together starting on Monday, May 20th. All right, without further ado, let's take a look in Canvas for one last time. And I'm going to scroll up here to week seven. Uh, actually, before I get into week seven, let's review real quick. Week six, we started on PowerPoint chapters one and two. If you have not started on these assignments, please make sure that you get caught up as point opportunities will be getting fewer. And as you will see with your final exams, they are worth a lot of points. So this is really your last chance to pick up other points while you can. So you don't want to be leaving points on the table. Anyway, starting Monday, May 20th, PowerPoint chapters 3 and 4. We will be looking at formatting along with managing and delivering your presentations. So here's the week 7 overview with the skills for chapters 3 and 4. As far as the action items go, it's pretty much the same. Okay, you have your chapter three training, skill review 3.1, chapter four training, skill review 4.1, your chapter three and four quiz, and then your optional discussion post on PowerPoint. Again, these discussion posts, uh, they are there to build community. And if you want, you can go back and chime in on Word and Excel. Those threads are still open and they will stay open until the end of the course. Face-to-face, -face, folks, you know the drill by now. Monday, May 20th, we will go over Chapter 3 together in class. And then on Wednesday, we have Chapter 4. You also have those project walkthroughs, okay, especially for those of you who have been coming in late to class. All right, make sure you watch the videos. And then finally, we have the Coastal One Final Exam Skills Review Study Guide. Now, ignore the fact that it still says Office 2019, but you want to go through and review these bulleted lists on what you need to know for your final capstones in the class. And on that note, let's take a look at week eight, since this will also be open and available for those who want to work ahead. And hopefully you have all of your PowerPoint assignments done by the time you get to week eight. By the way, PowerPoint assignments, they will be due on Sunday, May 26th. So again, don't leave points on the table. Anyway, week eight, for those who like to work ahead, it will be open on Monday, May 20th, or you can wait until Monday, May 27th. Face-to-face, -face, folks, we will go over the certificate application form in class together on that Monday, May 27th. But I like to turn the focus now to your final exam and capstones. And we will start here with the final week overview. So your final in COSA 1 consists of an objective exam along with three capstone projects, one for each office application. Please be aware that you only get one attempt at each capstone. See the readme for details and we'll get to that in a moment. And then again, for Coastal One folks, be sure to complete the certificate application. And I need to change this because you could also do this in your web browser now. All right, so uh, if you want to use Adobe Acrobat Reader, hey, more power to you. But the forms should be fillable in your web browser uh, at this point. Okay, so again, uh, Face to face, folks, we will do this together. There is also a video you can watch in the assignment if you want to do it through Adobe Acrobat Reader. All right, onward. Final exam and capstones. Your final objective exam is a lot like the quizzes that you have been doing. So, in other words, you need to block out some time 
and work on your final exam in the same session. There are 30 questions this time. So instead of 10, you have 30 questions. And again, you need to block out time so that you can complete your final exam in one session. If you back out of the exam or if you submit it too early, whatever you got on your final, that is it. That is your score. Okay, so make sure that you give yourself enough time to go through and complete the final. If you blow it, that's it. That's your score. Okay, uh, this is a final on computer information competency. And you have to demonstrate that you are competent at using technology. Okay, so uh, good luck on that final objective exam. Now let's talk about your capstones. So you'll see that there's one for each, a capstone for Word, a capstone for Excel, and a capstone for PowerPoint. There's also this readme file right here. Good luck on your final capstones. Here's what you need to know. Capstone projects are larger in scope than the individual skill review projects. So in other words, instead of being chapter based, so for example, like skill review 3.1 for PowerPoint, instead of just focusing on chapter three, your capstone is going to focus on all the chapters. Okay, so I hope that makes some sense. The three capstone projects are part of your final exam along with the objective exam. You only have one attempt at each capstone. Okay, let me say that again. You only have one attempt at each capstone. So where with the skill review projects you had three attempts, this time you only have one. So it's very important that you carefully check through the tasks, you save your project, and close out of office before submitting. And speaking of saving, you need to double check and make sure where you are saving things to. So I have my syllabus template for the fall that I'm working on. If you go up into the title bar, you will see exactly where your file is being saved to. In this case, it's being saved to my OneDrive. Okay, is it in your OneDrive? Is it in your downloads? Because if you turn in the wrong file, that is it. Okay, again, you only get one attempt at the capstone. Now, I've seen in the past where some students, they have multiple copies downloaded. You only just need to download one copy of your project. And again, check to see where it's being saved to. Is it in your OneDrive? Is it in your downloads? Because if it's the wrong file, that is it. Again, this is a class on computer information competency and file management if you remember that from week one that is a part of it i will not entertain questions about the capstones again this is a final exam but you can use your notes hopefully you've been taking notes you can use your reading material past training sims obviously you can't go back for late credit but you do have the training sims, the e-text. You can go through all that. Uh, past project instructions. You can Google for things. Watch things on YouTube. Watch my walkthrough videos. Or go to sites like GCF Learn Free. So you have all of that available to you. And on that note, with that one attempt, your scores are final. They will not be reset for any reason. The capstones are worth 100 points as a whole and if you see here with your final exam that is worth 30 points so a lot of points on the table here for week eight okay and as you can see your final exam and capstones they are due on the last day of the course along with your certificate application now you might see this here the slo assessment i'll give you more details about that in a separate announcement one last thing late projects and quizzes going all the way back to week one i sent messages out through the canvas inbox the other day so if you scored a zero on any project or quiz and assuming that you still have attempts remaining you can still turn those in for partial credit now if you used up all your attempts well you know that's your final score but if you still have attempts remaining on those assignments be sure to get those turned in for partial credit some points are better than none so on that note good luck 
on your final exam and capstones in this class. Good luck on your other finals that are coming up. And for those who are graduating, hopefully I'll see you at commencement on Thursday, June 6th. So take care of yourselves out there. Uh, it's been quite a journey. Uh, congratulations on making it uh, to, to the end. Let's finish on a strong note. And I wish you all well on your future endeavors. Take care of yourselves out there. I will see you around. Thanks for watching.